if we look at the whole evolution of any nice what are you going to focus on in this year where we can also talk about these platforms that you are building well i think it's um the it's obvious that kubernetes is a game changer i mean we have been talking in several sessions about how does kubernetes affect um, for example cloud foundry and i think today it's very obvious that uh, the impact of kubernetes is much more than it's just changing uh, Cloud Foundry's uh, container scheduler, um, which happened in Cloud Foundry several times already. Um, so one of the observations, I think we've mentioned that in our last conversation, was that there's a trend towards Cloud Foundry environments based on uh, virtual machines. That these environments can be very big. It's, it's, I would say, one of the strengths of Cloud Foundry to provide these um, this uh, CF push experience, um, even for, for very, very large environments where there are thousands of virtual machines. I would still assume that the um, virtual machine-based version of Cloud Foundry is the best choice. If you look at, for example, at our AnyNights platform, which wraps up uh, Cloud Foundry based on virtual machines, um, data service automation based on virtual machines, and, um, and Kubernetes uh, on demand, which is also currently still based on virtual machines. So the, these um, virtual machine-based um, uh, modules of the AnyNights platform will continue to exist, and we bring them. We bring additional uh, modules uh, that will base on um, on Kubernetes. So in that development, we've been looking into environments in customer customer environments, and we wanted to learn how they will use Kubernetes. And uh, what are their problems with existing Cloud Foundry environments? And how could uh, they benefit uh, from Kubernetes? And how could they possibly even encounter new problems that haven't been there before? And um, so today we are talking, and there's a bit of, of learning from uh, customer accounts that we can share. And uh, one of the things is that it, it seems as current Cloud Foundry on Kubernetes projects, there are, uh, there are two uh, different uh, implementations that are to be mentioned. That is uh, Cloud Foundry for Kubernetes, and that's kubectl. Well, they're basically uh, a packaging uh, a Cloud Foundry um, um, and bring it on on a Kubernetes. Uh, they they have different, um, well, let's say ways to do that. So that would be uh, interesting to talk about. But at the same time, we can also see that there are limitations to these uh, solutions at the moment that um, somehow create the appearance that they are not yet ready to compete with a classical Cloud Foundry stack. For example, for the larger Cloud Foundry environments, I've been saying that it is too early to move everything towards a new stack uh, at this point, although we have running environments already. Um, we feel comfortable with the existing stack, especially if there are thousands of virtual machines. That's basically things that we have experience with, and it just works like charm. Now, I don't think that necessarily it's a design goal to just take those big environments and place them on Kubernetes. Uh, there are currently uh, drafts in the Cloud Foundry community, I think we've mentioned that in our last conversation too, that suggests that maybe you'll have multiple Kubernetes clusters where the Kubernetes cluster itself has a similar role compared to uh, the uh, isolation segments in uh, in the classic Cloud Foundry stack, so that maybe a Cloud Foundry control plane will talk to multiple Kubernetes clusters, or even you could have multiple Cloud Foundry control planes. Now, let, yeah, that's that's how we talked about that. Um, already, but if you if you just let that assumption sink in for a second, you will see that if if currently there are let's say uh, two environments, a production environment and a staging environment, often customers do have several regions, so that you'll have to multiply that against the number of regions. Then you will see that um, there will be more Kubernetes clusters than there are, there have and more Kubernetes environments than they have been Cloud Foundry environments. These environments with multiple uh, Kubernetes clusters will have more heterogeneity. 
And if you think, for example, uh, what this means, this means that if you have one Kubernetes cluster, you also have a networking challenge to ensure that this Kubernetes cluster may talk to another Kubernetes cluster in terms of routing, as both Kubernetes clusters usually come with their own networking, uh, with their own network um, uh, and, and own IP address range. So you have to somehow make them interoperable. Now, if they are interoperable, how? what if you have two tenants on your platform that do not have a trust relationship among themselves and among each other? So you have to create isolation. And this is exactly where there's um, a certain uh, complexity being introduced in those platform environments. If there are more Kubernetes clusters, some of them may be specialized where, well, let's say, data services are running, where some others may have Cloud Foundry. Some may have both, but that generates a lot of, of heterogeneity. And what we can see, it also generates a lot of uh, operational friction. So that would be our, our general observation. And um, we're doing a lot of research at the moment to um, uh, develop best practices here and, uh, and find recurring uh, patterns to, to be automated. Um, at the same time, we can also observe um, that Kubernetes itself, for example, the exposure of uh, infrastructure credentials, if a Kubernetes cluster is configured to talk to a storage server, for example, can be rather problematic if, um, if the trust relationship to the user of the cluster uh, is not uh, substantial enough to allow uh, this uh, stakeholder uh, accessing those credentials. So there's a little bit of homework on the, on the Kubernetes side, or at least on the side of these infrastructure plugins, which is interesting and also currently being researched um, in customer projects.